That car is dirty. There's nothing worse than when you're trying to get some work done and it's complete and total darkness because you're doing it at night so you can keep everyone up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> there is <a> lot. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing like doing a tech video. <laughs> what are you keeping everybody up with? Right. There's nothing like trying to get some work done in the middle of the night, keeping your neighbors up, but you're doing it in complete and total darkness so you stub your toe and can't see what you're doing. So today we got the Stanley 7000 Lumen work light, which is weather resistant, so not only can you work in the dark, but you can work in a rainstorm if you really want to. And that's really bright. 7000 Lumens, like the lights I got on me right now are pretty bright. 7000 Lumens, I don't think I can handle it. We're looking at a rugged die cast aluminum design, lightweight portable folding, we have multi-directional LED panels so you can aim it at whatever you want. You can rotate them 165 degrees and pivot 90 degrees. We have an eight foot long power cord so you can plug it in wherever you want. And it's also wet rated for the rain. It's 80 watts with 7,000 lumens, 120 volts, and has a limited lifetime warranty in case something goes wrong. But the bulbs are actually rated for 50,000 plus hours, so that's a long time. We're looking at a 4,000 Kelvin temperature, which is gonna be a bright white. It's a little bit yellow, a little bit white pretty much in the middle. And I'm really surprised it actually fits compactly in this box because it extends up to 60 inches in height, which is pretty great. So now let's get this thing unboxed, um, set up, and put to the test because it just so happens to be late at night and I gotta get some work done and keep all my neighbors up, even though it's a work in school night. Inside the box, I have a user guide. <laughs> what the hell are you doing with this? What are these called? One of those little... Oh, Allen like, wrenches? Is that what it is? Yeah. You sure? <laughs> this is an Allen wrench, right? I don't know an Allen wrench. Yeah, it's an Allen wrench. This is an Allen wrench, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is what an Allen wrench is this whole time? <laughs> yeah. I know it's an Allen wrench, but I don't want to be sound stupid when he says it. I think it's a Carlos wrench. <laughs> I got a Roderick Eats wrench. That was on the commercial, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Popeyes. Love that chicken right. for Popeyes. We have an Allen wrench to help with assembly. I hope it's easy. And as you can see, it's nicely packed, so it shouldn't be broken. Got a nice little handle, comes right out. I think it's assembled actually, that's easy. Yeah, nothing else in the box. What's what's the Allen wrench for? <laughs> we'll find out. Look at this, this is pretty nice. Wow, definitely heavy duty, like this nice yellow design. Looks very worky. <laughs> Did you just say it looks very worky? <laughs> Manly. <laughs> I think the word you're looking for was manly. <laughs> <laughs> Looks very worky. <laughs> 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 <That's even dugger. laughs> well, this is the most compact size you get of this thing. It's about 40 inches in height and it expands all the way up to 60 inches so you can angle it down, angle it wherever you want. We got that eight foot power cord here. It wraps up and locks into place. That's very nice. Nice and convenient. Let's unravel this. Still going. This is eight feet right here. Not the longest ever, but it is decently long for most cases. I'm really liking this. So we got a little tripod here. Let's see, let's open this up. Is it considered a tripod if it's not a camera? I don't know. It's got three legs, which open somehow. There we go. Oh, okay, I see how this works. All right. So we can get it all the way up to 60 inches somehow. Bam, right there. Okay. Okay. Action. <laughs> <laughs> Got this handle here, and if you want to extend it all the way up to its max height, just release this clip right here, pull up, and bam, 60 inches in height. And we have the two lights locked into place here. Ooh, fancy. and we can angle them exactly how we want. We got one forward, one back, whatever we need. And look inside, we have the 7,000 lumen LED light. That is so small. That's actually gonna be 7,000 lumens? That's hard to believe. That's tiny. That's the whole thing? Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna turn into 7,000 lumen. 
My grandmother's kitchen light was this big and it was 3,000. <laughs> I didn't expect this. Okay. Is it both of them together, 7,000? I don't know. I was thinking, maybe. That thing's tiny. All right, let's get this plugged in. Easy. And over on the back, we have the power button, which as you can see is underneath this nice silicone, which is keeping it weather resistant. We're gonna turn it on right now and probably get blinded. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Oh, that is pretty bright. That little thing, I can't even look right at it. <laughs> it's shining so bright. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but wow. Look, I can see all this dust flying through the air. Hot surface, do not touch. So I guess this is gonna be getting kind of warm. It's turning, jeez. It's got a little bit of a yellow hue. It's nice white. It was a kind of soft white. Whew, that is bright. I didn't see all this dust. I need an air purifier in here. <coughs> <laughs> that thing is bright as hell, by the way. You see? turned it on and I was like, oh, all these little <laughs> things are bright. I mean, that is, I will admit, that thing is surprisingly bright as hell. Yeah. Look at this, look at the sun shining in. <laughs> so it feels like the sun is shining in right now. It is that bright in person. So we're actually gonna take this outside where it's completely dark and shine it on my black Tesla. Let's see how that works. I wonder how it is. That's actually not that bad. The black at the oh, back it's getting is actually, warm, yeah. You probably can't tell, but we're... <laughs> the car, the car got... You're like, out. you're like, you probably can't tell. The car's like, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I got sense of probably can't tell but we're outside and it's it's actually almost 1 a.m so it's really dark out here we got a black tesla right here which i'm sure you can't see at all you maybe we'll see a little reflection maybe a little bit maybe hopefully you probably can't even see me so let's just stop all the talking we're gonna flip the switch and let the daylight rain Woo, that car is dirty <laughs> so jeez as you can see, I could actually come out here, hand wash this car because it definitely needs it in the dead of night when the sun's not drying up all the soap on it, which is gonna be great. That's really my main use for this. Plus I could do other activities at night outside with the bright lights so everyone can see from across. Hey, so I already know this thing is super bright, lighting up everything that's, you know, close range. But what about stuff that's really far away? How far does this actually shine? Let's find out. As you can see, it's pretty dark. We got a little bit of garage lighting, not too bright. I mean, you can see a little bit, but it's not that great. Let's get this light now. We're gonna start turning it around and see if we can light up the dark. It's reflecting off that street sign over there. It's going across the street, reflecting off those cars, lighting up the whole road. Jeez, these little LED bulbs are lighting up the whole street. It's insane. You can do finger puppets. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, have fun with this thing. And if you drop your ring, <laughs> you can go find it. <laughs> Look at this. You can find whatever you want in the dead of night. That's insane. <laughs> and if you call now. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> I laughed at that one if you want to reshoot that. <laughs> I tried not to, I didn't think you'd actually do it. <laughs> So this light is very good. I mean, I can see everything. I can even see inside the car. That's how bright it is. 7,000 lumens from those little tiny LED lights. I have no idea how it's doing that, but I can't look into them. You need to wear sunglasses at night to use this. But look at that, that's insane. Get any job done in the middle of the night, definitely recommend this. It's very small, very lightweight, portable, rain resistant, and just look at this. I'm impressed. <laughs> 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 it's innovative, you're like, you're like, it's rain resistant, and you know, just look at this. <laughs> you're like, I'm so impressed. Oh, <laughs>